The following segment is sponsored by Providence Health and Services. Melanoma is a type of skin cancer that spreads quickly. If not caught early, it can be deadly in many patients. In tonight's Family Matters, we meet a patient who beat the odds thanks to his persistence, bravery, and a crucial second opinion. Steve Dunn reports. In 2007, Mark Williams received a grim prognosis, stage four melanoma, a lump in his neck, 14 tumors in his lungs and esophagus. Mark was given six months to a year to live. Very devastating diagnosis and a stressful time. He and his family wouldn't give up. They got a second opinion from Dr. Brendan Curdy with Providence Cancer Institute. My initial impressions, which are my, my current impressions, I Mark. Uh, has a tremendously supportive family and the energy, the, uh, the positive energy that comes from that, I think, sustained him. That love and support, along with an alternative cancer treatment that was new at the time, ended up saving his life. It's called interleukin-2, and it's an aggressive form of immunotherapy, meaning the treatment uses the body's own immune system to destroy cancer cells. That's what that um, IL-2 does, is make you high fevers, rigors. And so that's the, the, you know, the, the downside of the treatment is that it's going to make you pretty sick and it's supposed to. What it boils down to is actually common sense. So patients who are strong going in, who have relatively few other medical problems. And as um, Mark may have shared, it is not easy treatment. So having a strong will to move forward is, is very important. Today, immunotherapy is a more widely accepted form of cancer treatment, being used in combination with other traditional treatments. Dr. Curdy's cancer research dates back to the 1980s. He's proud of how far science has come. He says it's patients and families like Mark's that inspire him to continue this challenging work. Just seeing how patients, um, uh, the courage they have, the determination they have, the support they get from their families. As for Mark, he's learned to take life more slowly, enjoy quality time with family, and give back to his community. We like to say in our communities, you know, that no one fights alone. And so, um, you know, that's what I try and do is kind of kind of help out in the cancer community and speak with other folks and try and keep them positive. He continues to share his story through regular hospital visits with other patients battling cancer. Steve Dunn, K2 News. Researchers and doctors have been working in the field of immunotherapy at Providence here in Portland since the early 1990s. Let's go back to that.